What's going on guys? So it's Jonathan Moore back again with the man Rick Stein. And uh, you know, we're having like our mentorship minutes right that's here. That's right, that's right. Asking you a couple questions. And I, I love to do this. Oh, this is, this is awesome. So I have a question. Okay. Um, and this is for um, moving out. Moving out. So me and my wife, right now we currently, you know, we, we uh, are renting a condo that we've been living in for about, you know, three years now. Um, and we finally decided on an area where we're going to stay because, you know, jobs and everything else. But now we're somewhere where we're going to be for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, so my idea that I had proposed was that we look for a duplex uh, to, to purchase as opposed to just like a single family mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So so what do you think about that idea? OK, what well, that is called house hacking. Okay. That's the euphemism for it. Okay. And there are distinct advantages to it. All right. So if you're going to buy a duplex and you're going to live in one side and you're going to rent out the other side, mm -hmm. since it will be owner-occupied, you can get an FHA loan on it. Okay. With a 3.5% down payment. Okay. All right. And um, now you're living on one side and we'll say that, um, you know, I don't know what the purchase price will be. Mm -hmm. We'll just say that your monthly nut Principal, interest, taxes, and insurance is twelve hundred bucks a month. Well, how much rent are you paying now? We pay fourteen hundred. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's just say everything is fourteen. I don't. Again, it depends on the purchase price. Okay. We'll just say it's fourteen hundred dollars. So you okay. say, well, gee, now I own the place. It's the same amount as paying. Plus, this fourteen hundred dollars on my purchase is now tax deductible. I did not have a tax deduction when I was renting. Okay. That was your landlord's tax deduction. Okay. Oh. As far as I'm concerned, I'd rather have the tax deduction. Right, right absolutely. That's yeah. why I'm a landlord. Right. <laughs> okay, so, well, for among other reasons. Mm -hmm. All right, so now you moved into this duplex, John, mm -hmm. and your payment's the same. Well, that's a win right there, isn't it? Because mm -hmm. now you have tax deduction. However, mm -hmm. you're only living on one side. Mm -hmm. You have this other side that you can now rent out, right? And you rent it out to somebody for $1,000 a month. Okay. Okay, so you collect a thousand dollars, and you pay fourteen hundred dollars a month to the bank. Mm -hmm. What's your net payment? Four hundred. Four hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. But you get the tax deduction on fourteen hundred dollars. Hmm. And any repairs that you have to make to your duplex, to the the, the tenant side, mm -hmm. that's also a tax deduction. Oh wow! All right. Okay. So you know. Um, is that example? The more the more property you own, the more deductions you have. Mm -hmm. You could get to a point where you're not paying any estimated any income tax at all. Mm -hmm. I mean that's, that's pretty powerful right, stuff. Right, pretty powerful mm -hmm. stuff. But they even notwithstanding that, mm -hmm. you're paying fourteen hundred dollars a month now. You move it to a new place, you're paying fourteen hundred dollars a month. It's a, and so you rather and then you own the place. Right. You're paying down the mortgage every month. Right. You're building equity in the place. Right. You got in for three and a half percent. Right. Right. Okay. And then you're renting out the other half for a thousand dollars a month. Your net is four is four hundred dollars a month. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with that? Doesn't seem like much. That, no, <laughs> I, I think that's a pretty good idea. It's very basic. Yeah. But that's what we call house hacking, mm -hmm. and it's a great way to start. Well, yeah. I was going to ask: Does um so does area matter? Like the area that you're that you're in, should I go for like an area that is will be more likely to rent? Like let's say I'm okay. Well, like, this is a very it's a good question. And it's a very simple answer. Mm -hmm. Are you going to buy a place? You know, you're going to live there, right? Are, are you going to buy a place where you don't want to live? Well, no, I would. I would, not, <laughs> I would not like to do that. Okay, well, I wouldn't want to sacrifice. Okay, that. so then your tenants are not going to want to live there either, right? If you're one of the reasons. Now, I, people say, oh, Trenton, I'm not going to buy in Trenton. I buy in Trenton every day. I'm closing on the property in Trenton tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'll buy in Trenton. Okay. Depends on the area. Okay. All right? All right. I'm going to go to an area where the streets are well kept. Mm -hmm. People take responsibility just because it's lower income. I mean, it's not Beverly Hills. I understand that. Right. It doesn't mean they're responsible. Right. But I will not buy in the hood. Right. Okay. Uh, not like any war zones. Or no, anything. I will not. Why? Mm -hmm. What quality of tenant am I going to get? They can't rent anywhere else. Right. So I'm going to get those kind of tenants. Right. And I don't want tenants that are going to give me stories every month mm -hmm. 
I don't want to have to go into an area where every other house is boarded up, where right. there's, there's drug activity on the corner, mm-hmm. and the police are there. I'm not, I'm, it's not worth it to me. A couple of years ago, mm-hmm. I got offered such a property for $1. <laughs> you didn't take it for a dollar? I No. <laughs> I didn't take it. Really? First of all, it needed a lot of rehab. It needed a lot of, and I wasn't... And now you know what? As soon as the rehab would have started, mm-hmm. they would have come in at night and stolen everything in there anyway. Right, right. right. So, no. No, I, I'm not a, I'm, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I'm not going to wear a little pith helmet and a, well, you know, a bulletproof jacket. Yeah. Gun. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> okay. Right. But I, I own properties in Villa Park, Chambersburg. I'm mm-hmm. this property in Arlington, which is on the Ewing border. Mm-hmm. I'll buy there every day. Mm-hmm. Why not? Okay. So, so all right. So, that, I mean, that makes sense. So, the area that you're in is going to reflect the type of quality tenant that Absolutely, you get. Absolutely. Right. And if you want to, and if you, like, I plan on living there for a that's while. That's right. So, you be somewhere where I want to live. That's not, right. Not that's just, right. like, you know, sacrificing for. No, I wouldn't do that. I would not do that. Okay. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Not a good idea. That's not a good idea at all. Okay. That's a definite no. Okay. Um, so real quick, now this is just kind of like a question current to, to today. Yeah. So it's currently 2018, yeah. we're in July 2018. Yeah. Um, Actually, we're in August. But oh, August. <laughs> August. <laughs> Who's looking? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They all blend now, right? Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> um, so how, you know, what's your forecast for the real estate market, you know, coming up, you know? I do not have a crystal ball. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, right now, the economy is very strong. Okay. Real estate markets go in like seven, eight year cycles. Okay. We're due for a change. Okay. But what I love about real estate investment, if I have money in the stock market, mm-hmm. I have no control over world events. Stock market goes down, I got nothing to say about it. Right. Tomorrow, the stock market goes down, my tenants still pay me the rent. Okay. <laughs> That's very true, right? Because right. even if the stock market goes down, it goes up, people are still going to be living in those houses. And look at it this way. Mm-hmm. So let's say we hit another recession. I, I don't think we'd ever hit a recession like we did in 2008. Okay. Because we have systems in place now to prevent that. But let's say the economy goes down and we're going to hit a recession. Right? Okay. It gets harder for people to sell properties, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, maybe money's a little bit tighter. Yeah. Mm. My heart goes pitter pat mm-hmm. because it gets easier for me to buy the properties at a lower price. Mm-hmm. And think about it this way: money gets tighter. It's harder for buyers mm-hmm. to borrow money. Mm-hmm. I now own properties free and clear. Mm-hmm. Could I not sell these properties to these people with seller financing? sell the property and still make money after it on it, right? Yeah. Or I can go to a seller. Well, let's role play. You're the seller. Okay. All right. You own this property. You want out. Mm-hmm. You want to just move to pl- parts unknown, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Right. All right. And you want to do it too quickly. Okay. All right. And you don't want to put money into this property. We'll say it needs a little work. And say, you know, John, uh, you don't have a mortgage on this property, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. How about we do this? I'd like to have you out of here in 30 days so you can move to parts unknown wherever you want to go and go fit, whatever you want to do. <laughs> okay, so how about we do this? I'm going to give you a 10% down payment on your property and you're going to hold the mortgage. You're going to be the bank. You ever put the side? You ever like to be a bank? I would like to It'll I would be, love a to be a bank of America, bank. right? Yeah, I would Wells Fargo. Love that. Yeah. All right, so instead of me paying the bank, you're going to be doing what you're doing. Mm-hmm. How does an extra $400 a month? So, Sounds fantastic. All right. I'll pay you $400 a month, mm-hmm. all right, for the next five years on this property. Mm-hmm. I'll take the property because it's going to be really tough to get a buyer for this who can finance it, right? Get right. financing because the market's so tight. Right. All right. So I'll take it as is. Mm-hmm. Um, and you, you could just don't have to do a darn thing to it. Pack your bags. And we just say you, you're going to go with what? You're going to go down to Florida? That's right. Okay. Uh, What's an airline ticket now? One way to Florida, seventy nine bucks. Roundabout, yeah. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll buy the airline ticket. Okay. Wow, well, this deal keeps getting better, and better. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, we got a deal. We got a deal. Okay, so when money gets tighter, mm-hmm. it's easier to get seller financing. Okay. 
is assuming they have no more or a low down payment. Okay. But your down payment could equal the, their their loan balance. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. Well, all right. Um, awesome. Well, how about let's let's really get courageous. Okay. Yeah. Let's get courageous. Okay. I'll tell you what we're gonna do, John. Mm-hmm. I'm buying this property for fifty thousand mm-hmm. dollars. You really want? Um, how does it check for five hundred dollars a month sound? Sounds great. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to do a zero interest loan with no down payment. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I'm buying the property fifty thousand dollars. I'm going to pay you five hundred bucks a month. Mm-hmm. We'll say for the next hundred months, mm-hmm. which will pay you if you are. It won't be a hundred months. All mm-hmm. right. We could say. Uh, for the next 10 years and then there's a balloon payment at the end of 10 years okay okay and i'll pay you 500 dollars a month no down payment mm-hmm. and um you, you could be out of here in two weeks i can do that okay so now you're paying them you're paying that every payment you make is principal mm-hmm. right right so you're paying down six thousand dollars a year mm-hmm. right okay so um now do you really think someone would sell the property for nothing down and zero interest loan? Well, you don't know if you don't ask. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I have a mentor, mm-hmm. coach. That's where I was last week with him up in Canada. Okay. And he has a wonderful expression. Mm-hmm. The, quest- the answer, excuse me, the answer to every question you do not ask is... It's a good one. Okay. Right, that's and a good one. You will one, be actually. surprised, mm-hmm. John, mm-hmm. what people agree to mm-hmm. if you only ask and show them how it's to their benefit to do it. Mm-hmm. Are you ripping anybody off? No. Are you doing anything illegal? No. I try to craft deals mm-hmm. that are uh, advantageous to both sides. Mm-hmm. So, as I said in the other video, I'm paying, I'm closing tomorrow and paying $500 a month. He's getting ready to retire. Mm-hmm. $500 a month in the next 10 years. So thank you. I'll take it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's happy. He's the bank. Yeah. I'm happy. I don't have to get up and do anything. And no. Five, he's uh, just, just go out. fishing and get the check in the mail. 500 bucks every month. Wow. It's not a bad deal. It's a good deal for him. It's a good deal for me. <laughs> right. It's a win-win for everybody. It has to be a win-win. Otherwise, mm-hmm. you know. I mean, when I proposed the deal to him, he said, well, you're benefiting too. I said, of course I am. <laughs> of right, course yeah, I am. Right, yeah. I'm an investor. Why else would I, if I'm not benefiting, I wouldn't do it. Right. But my objective is to help you. Mm-hmm. So he's benefiting big time. Right, yeah. I mean, he's as happy as a pig and you know what. Right, yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't he be? Right. And I had a loan with him for four years on another property behind it. He never missed a payment. Mm-hmm. So why would he think he'd miss a payment now? Yeah. Well, I guess I guess the next thing I have to do is to go out there and start asking. Then that's right. right. You got to go out and start asking. Mm-hmm. That's right. Man. So thank you. I appreciate you taking the time. My pleasure. My All friend. right. Always. All right. We'll see you next time. Okay, John. All right. Thanks. All right. Okay.